Good morning, my name is Denise. Welcome to Suncoast Crafting. Today, we will use Dot's Sandwich Adhesive to make a small lavender flower. I am reviewing Diamond Dot's branded products for these projects. I have included a variety of links for the products in the show notes, and I have selected these options because I use them myself. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. Wherever you choose to shop, as always, Look for coupons, sales, and special deals. You can buy new basic diamond painting accessories or use the ones you already have. With all methods, it's recommended to use protective film over the project to protect it from dust, cat hair, and whatever else might get caught on the adhesive. The official instructions also recommend rolling over the whole project with a brayer or rolling pin at the end to make sure that the diamonds are firmly adhered. Use sandwich adhesive on smooth, clean, dry surfaces. It is not recommended for fabrics or uneven surfaces. Wherever you are using it, make sure you won't have to wash, iron, or dry clean the project. There are two ways to use the adhesive. One way is to leave the paper backing on, dot the sticky surface, and then apply the finished pattern like an applique to its final location. The other way is to remove the paper backing and apply the blank sandwich adhesive to its final location and then add the diamonds. First, we'll do the method where we leave the paper backing on. Cut out a piece of sandwich adhesive the size of the pattern, lay the chart on your LED light, and position the sandwich adhesive, paper side down, over the top of the chart. Peel back the clear surface from the top of the sandwich adhesive to reveal the sticky surface. Dot onto the sticky surface following the chart pattern. Between sessions, cover the sticky surface with the protective film. When the diamond painting is finished, trim around the edge, leaving one gem width around the outside of the design. Finally, Peel the backing paper away from a small corner of the project and secure the small sticky area on the final surface. Then gently peel the remaining backing paper away, sticking the design down as you go. Now we'll do the method where we remove the paper backing. Depending on the project, you may want to use a permanent marker to trace the design on the clear side of the sandwich adhesive. Cut the sandwich adhesive to the desired design size and shape. Peel back the white release paper and apply the sticky side to the final surface. Peel back the clear top layer and dot directly onto the sticky surface. Use the clear top layer to protect the pattern between sessions. Since I was working on glass for this project, I could see through to the pattern below. This would also work with a very simple pattern. I would also use this method with something like a jeweled garden where there is no pattern, or something like jeweled monogram from Sparkle at Home, or sunshine mirror also from Sparkle at Home, filling in a space. 
Depending on the type of pattern and surface, you may want to create the whole pattern before securing it to the final surface. Or you may want to create the pattern on the final surface. If I like the white background behind what I'm doing and I need the stability of the fabric, then that would be perfectly appropriate. So the reason you'd be using the sandwich adhesive rather than the fabric is you don't want that white background. You just want it to be clear and you want to see straight through to whatever you're using. That might be appropriate on wood or felt or glass. I would be careful if you're putting this on something like felt, it's not something that's going to get used. It would be something like a little picture that's going to be protected or a little ornament, not something that could possibly or is not likely to get wet or washed or move around a lot. Let's talk about the cost. The lavender flower design I'm using is from the Freestyle Projects page on the Diamond Dots website, so it was free. Let's talk about the canvas. I purchased one piece of 12 by 36 dot sandwich adhesive at Joann's on sale for $5.59. I'll be using this piece on more than one project. Let's talk about the diamonds. The lavender flower has six diamond colors. At $2 per bottle, that's $12 at Joann's for all the diamonds. This could be less if you're using the bottle from more than one project, or if you're using recycled gems from another project. The price also changes if you buy beads from another source. I'll be using these beads for more than one project. For this project, I bought diamonds from several sources. For consistency, I'll use the in-store Joann prices for now. Let's talk about finishing the project. The 8 by 8 inch frame was $9.99 at at home. The Minwax Polycrylic Spray was $15 at Ace Hardware. The price has gone up since then to $16.99. So the total for this project is $44.57. This total assumes that you are using these items for only this one project and that you are using all new items, nothing left over from another project. The finishing items, frame and polycrylic spray, are 60% of the $45 total. The prices are as of March 2022. Was this fun? Yes, this was fun. The other one where I did it all on the sandwich adhesive and then kind of applicated onto the final location was very much like doing the gridded or plain fabric and just looking through to the LED light. I kept an extra copy of, I kept an extra copy of the pattern nearby in case I needed to reference. This, I was looking straight down at the pattern through the glass and that made it way easy although I did still keep my extra copy of the pattern nearby. I am going to do more projects like this. I might do a larger project on a larger piece of glass. I like this effect and I like the idea of trying different backgrounds behind it to see what the effect is. This might be a little dark but you know still got to try. And I like the idea of putting this up to the light in a window and not having a back on it and just seeing straight through it. I like that idea a lot. So here is the sandwich adhesive. We've looked at it working with it two different ways. I think you could have a lot of fun with a lot of different kinds of backgrounds and a lot of different kinds of patterns think you could make some better effects than I made.
If you have a masterpiece that you created on your own instead of from a pre-made diamond painting kit, please leave a link in the comments to your YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and so on site to share your beautiful work. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to working on more projects that you are interested in. Please like and subscribe and join us again for Suncoast Crafting.